pioneering African-American poet, Phyllis Wheatley was born in Senegal around 1753. At the age of eight, she was kidnapped and brought to Boston on a slave ship. Upon her arrival, John Wheatley purchased the young girl as a servant for his wife, Susanna. Under the family's direction, Wheatley, who was as the custom at the time, adopted her master's last name, was taken under Susanna's wing. While Wheatley suffered from poor health, her quick intelligence was hard to miss, and as a result, Susanna did not train her to be a servant. Instead, Wheatley received lessons in theology, English, Latin, and Greek. Wheatley, while still a slave, enjoyed limited restrictions on her life and became a part of the family at a time when African Americans were discouraged and intimidated from learning how to read and write. Wheatley wrote her first published poem at age 12. The work, a story about two men who nearly drowned at sea, was printed in the Newport Mercury. In 1773, Wheatley gained considerable stature when her first and only book of poems, Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral, was published. Susanna Wheatley helped finance its publication. Following the publication of her book, Wheatley traveled to London to promote her poems and received medical treatment for a health ailment that she had been battling. In the late 18th century, slave poet Phyllis Wheatley impressed everyone she met, proving to the world that the color of one's skin does not indicate one's intellect.